Hey guys, this is Well Hater doing Packet Tracer 8227 for the CCNA course number three. What we've got here today is some fancy French looking thing. Packer Tracer en configuring OSPF version 2. And this is single area OSPF. So we're just going to be using the area 0. That's the backbone area, the default area for OSPF. So what it's telling us to do is we have to follow these three things. We're going to use the process ID of 10. The router ID for R1 is 111. Router 2, 222, two, two, and then router 3, of course, just follows that same pattern. The network address is to be given for each interface. Now, what I did, this they give you the interface addressing up here. I just went through and I did my own addressing using the, those addresses. I did the net ID and then the wildcard mask because that's what OSPF uses. It doesn't use subnet masks. I think later versions do. Uh, the ones in this packet tracer, though, do not. So wildcard masks are what need to be used, at least, at least for now. We'll see what happens in the future as things progress. Okay, so here we go. Oh, lastly, LAN interface is set to passive, and those are just those G00 interfaces. So let's go to R1. Enter configuration terminal. Let's do our router. Come on, router OSPF, and we're going to use the process ID of 10. Now we're just just a random number, right? But I think you can use up to from anywhere from one all the way up to 65,535, if I remember correctly. We can't use zero because what do, what happens is is OSPF uses process IDs to kind of just keep track of the instances of OSPF. Every time you use a new process ID, you're turning on another instance of OSPF, and you can have up to like I said, like 65,000 instances of it running but that does consume some network resources so probably not a good idea to do that anyway OSPF 10 now let's give ourselves a router ID let's just quad ones for R1 now let's do our network statements 172.16.10.255.255.255 there let's give ourselves the area command and a zero I'm just gonna press the up arrow and let's change this to a 3 and then we're going to change that to a 3. I think that's all we need to do, right? Right. Next, we're going to change most of this. 192.168.10.4 Again, it's a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, 252 the inversion of which is the 0003. Enter. All right, now we just have to do that passive interface, G00. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, so we've got our points. Let's get out of here. Done. R2. And we're basically just going to be doing the same thing. I mean, the network statements are going to be a little bit different, but the rest of this is going to be very similar. Network done with those. All right, one seven two sixteen two zero. Do our up arrow. We're going to change this to a three and change this to a three. Do another up arrow and those are going to stay a three. Those adjacencies bug me. Okay, change that to a three, and then this is going to be one nine two one six eight ten dot eight. Enter. Passive interface G zero zero again. All right. Lastly, let's do R three. Whoops. Network. Okay. Network, network, network. Here we go. 
192.168.1.0.00255 area 0. Enter. It's going to be changed to another 3. And this one goes down to, uh, let's see, what do we got here first? 4. There's a 10. 192.168.10.4. Yep. Enter. This gets changed to an 8. Enter. And we get both of those. Cool. <clears throat> so passive inter Yep, okay, we're good. So now we got our 100 points and we're ready to do our network testing. To do that, just go through and use the addressing table that's provided. I would suggest using one of the routers or one of the switches to ping everything. Reason being is they ping a lot faster than a PC, even though they probably tell you here to use, let's see, on, our, on each router, the routing table should be uh, Each PC should, PC should be able to ping the other two PCs. If not, check your configuration. What I would do is I suggest if you're going to do the network uh, testing, go through and just use one of the routers to ping the rest of the devices on the network because they just, they just ping so much faster. For instance, I'll just do R3 quick. Uh, let's do end ping and let's just go up to our addressing table and we'll just select the PC1 because it's the farthest address. Control C copy, paste, enter. And that is a lot faster than waiting for all those replies on the PC command line. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.